So welcome to Cobra Exhaust in Sheffield. Now my name's George, I'm from Sinton Media Productions and today I've been fortunate enough to be invited down here by the team to not only take a look behind the scenes at Cobra but also have a closer look at one exhaust system in particular. So wait on in the video, we're going to catch up with some of the team here, we're going to give us a bit of background information on Cobra themselves, also a little bit more information on this exhaust that's in question. So hope you like this video, make sure you stay tuned and without further ado, we'll go and get the day started. So as we mentioned earlier on, we're now joined by Josh who's one of the team here. Uh, Josh is basically going to run us through a couple of the specs of the exhaust system that is on the beautiful Audi R8 just behind us. So the car in question is the V10 5.2 litre uh, 2014 model yeah. I believe so. Um, so yeah just run us through some of the ins and outs of you know what what exhaust system is actually on the car at the minute. So what we've fitted to this um, we've currently fitted a cat back. When we say cat back the cats come pretty much straight off the side of the engine um, and then it's straight into our exhaust so it's pretty much straight into back boxes and um, it's a vacuum system so it's got vacuum valves on it so when you get up the rev range the valves open the car gets louder also in sport mode it's slightly louder as well um, it sits perfectly on the back of the car uh, wraps in each shield. Oh. Right, ready? oh, so we are now inside the R8. Let's have a little listen to it on turnover. I hope you can hear us over that because well, it makes quite a racket, doesn't it, really? So the, vol the valves do come open in sport and it just changes the car's dynamic so now now we're in manual uh, manual uh, non-sport mode it's quite a relaxed car and you're yeah. actually talking in now rather than it being yeah too too overwhelming yeah. so um in in terms of obviously sort of specs of the exhaust as we mentioned just a couple of moments ago a very very briefly uh, overview on that again so car itself is a 2014 r8 v10 plus uh, 5.2 litre um, as we mentioned before as well you guys do offer an exhaust system yeah, for the previous v8 which was 4.2 um, the system itself that is a cat back when we say cat back obviously the car is rear engine so you've literally got manifold cat and then back box so there's no sort of option for a resonating or non-resonating yeah. section big well it just isn't there to to have um and then obviously again we've got the valve system in there as well so overall it sounds absolutely incredible like in terms of drama from being sat here we're pottering around in normal now, it's quite calm, but as we sort of left the building, it was in sport, it just yeah. sounds ridiculous. And it's a spider as well, so if you whip the roof off, it would sound yeah, really. absolutely mental. Um, so, do you know what sort of price point on this is, and, and sort of what uh, it's going to set you back to, to actually purchase one for your R8? The V8 is about £1,800 without the tips. Right, okay. uh, the V10 will be very similar sort of yeah. price to, to that as well. And again, as we mentioned previously, the tips, uh, they're, they're an additional extra. We're looking at around about the £400 mark for those, but they make such a massive difference. Yeah. Do, do you know if, uh, obviously, the ones that come already in the bumper there, sort of like a silvery like sort a, of... Yeah, like, like a chrome sort yeah. of finish on it. And so you're only offering the, the carbon ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, Which, to change, just to change the look of it. We've been such, such a dramatic job to get the tips out uh, what we're trying to do is obviously make it you don't want to change it for another chrome yeah, finish. yeah of course yeah, yeah. Um, which, if someone just wants to change the back end of it then carbon is what you on these sort of cars what people want to go for <laughs> Wow, that is 
outrageous. So a little demonstration of what it's like under load. We're going to hit that off so that we can hear us <laughs> talking again. Um, so I've written down actually just a couple of notes because I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Uh, difference in terms of stop to the Cobra system, uh, 4,000 revs, um, there's an increase of 10 decibels. So that basically sees you at 103 decibels, uh, 5,000 RPM. It's increased by 12 and then that is seeing you at 105. So a massive improvement over stock. Yeah. Um, if nothing else as well, the tone is, I don't really know how would you describe the tone. It's just real grumble, isn't it? Yeah, it, really? it, it yeah. sounds really aggressive and angry. Yeah, but really. again, you've got the beauty of as soon as you hit that sport button and the valves close again. And like now it's, like, it's dead relaxed. You know, you can daily driver, it, yeah. yeah it's, it's very calm, very collective. As soon as you open it up with that sport button on, you get, well, what you've just experienced there. So from what the guys were telling me a little bit earlier on, quite a few of the customers that have got the the V8s and, and again the, the V10s, they're actually spending quite a bit of time on circuit with these cars. So um, in terms of stats, obviously, weight reduction, power increase and stuff like that, uh, we haven't actually dyno tested the car, so we can't give you a, you know, a legitimate figure as to if it's made much of a difference in terms of horsepower and what have you. Uh, customer feedback they're saying that uh, it delivers power quite a bit smoother um, and as well in terms of stats on weight we're looking at around about 13 kilograms decreased from what the stock exhaust system is so all round basically it's, diet, right? yeah it's a, it's a really good upgrade so the guys at Cobra basically developed this exhaust uh, in-house as always um, it's built from T304 um, stainless steel. What sort of like is the development process at, at your point? It's like behind the scenes, yeah. you know, to get a car in, spend a number of weeks so on it. What, or, what everyone doesn't see when they're building an exhaust is uh, the time and effort that goes into it. So uh, Stuart, our R&D manager at the moment, has got a massive motor, uh, motor trade background, motor racing, uh, worked for a lot of big companies. He, he will look at a plan of an exhaust and then he'll um, take measurements and draw boxes up. Right. Also, he has to constantly look at uh, the flow of the exhaust, whether the gas is gonna move correctly. Um, and then he has to basically draw and build the boxes from scratch. So he, right. built, okay. he builds the system uh, from the ground up, gets the system ready, because it's quite a complex job. And then obviously we get a car in, we've had this one in for just under a week now to obviously fit it, make sure it fits, and any amendments on these development cars, go back to the drawing board, right, redesign okay. what we've done, and obviously make sure it fits the car. Right. It's so sometimes you're going back and forth, revision yeah. after revision, trying to hit the sweet just spot. Make, make sure we get it right. Yeah. Right, okay. So again, that's quite interesting to, obviously the the guys at home don't necessarily see that side of things, you know, what goes on behind the shutter. feel there's anything whatsoever that's been missed out in this video you want to learn anything else about this exhaust system or any of the systems that Cobra exhaust in the great collection make sure you follow the contact details that will be listed below and um, other than that thank you very much for watching and no doubt we'll see you on the next video